What's up everyone, Dave with Kata Productions here. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through uh, the setup process and some of the controls and features of my Pro X by Icon, the QCon Pro X, uh, also the uh, extender as well. So uh, there's two units here um, together. It's 16 faders plus the master fader, lots of buttons, uh, has the pan rotaries at the top or endless rotaries in there programmable and stuff like that uh, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of start from scratch and show you how to set this up just with uh, uh, in Reaper and show you just basic stock settings uh, nothing fancy at all and we're gonna do this from scratch so right now I have it set up with a totally different configuration you're gonna see me remove that we'll start from scratch uh, I'll have to restart Reaper once or twice so you'll get to see that whole process and Everything should work at the end. Cross your fingers. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to Options and Preferences, and we're gonna go to Control, OSC Web. There's my Control Surface Integrator. I'll do a totally separate video on that once I really wrap my head around uh, the new features of that. So for now, this is gonna be crazy. I'm just gonna remove it. Bloop. Okay, so now nothing works. Uh, I've got some other stuff there, but the first thing that you're gonna wanna do once you get your unit plugged in and everything is you're gonna wanna go over here to uh, device, devices, and MIDI devices, and you're, you're gonna wanna find it in the list. Depending on what firmware version that you have, I've got 1.15 uh, for the Pro X, and then the XS, so this is the Pro X, right? And the XS is the extender unit. Okay, not sure why there's two there, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to double click, enable, and enable for control messages, because that's what we're, we're going to be sending. And then we're going to do the same thing for the excess unit. Okay, so that's the input, right? Input settings, now we want to go to the output, and we're going to do the same thing. Enable, send the clock to the device. Uh, we're going to do that for the main Pro X unit. We're not going to do that for the XS. Okay, we're just going to send output. And that's so that you can get the feedback. Buttons light up, the rotary lights move wherever the value is, the faders will move, and stuff like that. Okay, so we've got all of that. We're going to click Apply and OK. Well, actually, I shouldn't have closed yet, but. Uh, and actually, at this point, because I've already had the console on, I'm going to close it. I'm going to close Reaper. And then I'm going to restart. And then, uh, because previously, when I was trying to do this before I was going to do, well, when I first made this video, I realized that going through that process of removing the profile I already had and enabling a new one, uh, I need to restart Reaper. It's just whatever. So this will just take a sec. Okay, so uh, it's not working yet. Now we're going to go back into options. Uh, sorry, preferences, options, preferences. Now let's go to the bottom, control OSC web. And what we're going to do uh, is um, we would add control surface mode and we're going to pick uh, there's a lot of them here for Mackie Control Universal. All we want is Mackie Control Universal. Okay, uh, I've I've got some additional ones here. Never mind that. When you first get this, and if you haven't gotten any additional ones, just pick Mackie Control Universal. So I've already got that set up here. Now this is really important. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is set up a new one. Mackie Control Universal, okay, I've already selected it, uh, and the first one we're going to do is the unit on the left, okay, the extender, all right, and I'll show you why. So we're going to pick that, the excess, and we're going to pick that for the input and the output, just like we did previously. Now the surface offset, let's leave that at zero, and I'll show you why later. And we can ignore all the rest of these, leave those unchecked. 
Now we're going to do the main unit, the Pro X, and that's going to be this one here for the input and the output. Now the surface offset is going to be 8 because the first 8 faders are going to be tracks 1 through 8. Now in the new unit, we want the next 8. So when we bank, everything will bank together. Okay. So we've got an error. And there is actually, I believe, if we go to MIDI devices, reset all MIDI devices. Okay, so now I'm here, I have a project, and our faders have popped up. So one of the things that I notice is that you have to just restart Reaper. Uh, Hopefully it just takes a minute for you to do that. And then what we see right from the top, we've got uh, transport controls. That's all it takes. Ah, you can't lay the way to And I'll turn that down so that the music is not drowning us out. So as you can see, we've got transport controls. Uh, and uh, I can bank tracks over okay bank them over by eight bank over by one okay pretty simple stuff should that's what you would expect from a control surface like this right uh, okay what else can we do here uh, uh, so you, uh, on this surface, you've got just basic controls for transport and uh, the jog wheel. So I can move the jog wheel around. And in fact, let me change the screen. So the jog wheel, okay, uh, and your uh, counter moves. So we can select multiple tracks just by selecting them. Uh, if we select them on the screen, they are selected on the control surface. So that's pretty handy to keep you keep you in tr uh, you know in place. Uh, if I select a track here, in fact, let's go to the mixer view. Uh, if I select a track, uh, I can push read. Now it's set to read mode if i push right it's set to right so for instance if i move us over here uh, we're going to play that and now we're going to write some automation stop Let's put it in the read. Let's see what happens. And there it goes doing the, the read that we did. And if we look at the track, there's the automation on the uh, track screen. Here's the automation that we did. So uh, this surface, let me go back to that. Uh, this surface has got a uh, read, write, touch, latch, and then back to trim mode. So you can set all of those up here um, just by selecting the track that you want and putting it in that mode. Well, in fact, you would put both of them in that mode, and that's not what I want to do. Put that back there. What was the other one that we had? Anyway, so... Uh, what else does this surface do? Well, not a lot. Let's see, you've got pan. So if I am on uh, this track over here, let me bring that up so you can see it. So we're at this track. Actually, let's select uh, the chorus track right there. That way you could see. And I'm going to bank these over this way towards me. So I don't mess up the camera. And then, I don't know if hopefully you could see, but now we're banking that. 
Let's just play that little piece there. Oh yeah, so you could see it's panned to one side or another. There's the other side. That's one side, and then that's the other side. All right, well, that's going to conclude uh, what I was going to do today to show you how to set one of these control surfaces up in Reaper. This should work for uh, anything, uh, any basic control surface that's USB um, and follows the MCU or Mackie Control Universal Protocol. The Icon Pro X happens to be one of those, and uh, you can see how pretty much it's easy to do. Um, as long as you know all of the steps to do that. So I hope you found this helpful and you can definitely follow or subscribe and like and all of that stuff if you want to see some more because I do have some more gear here that I didn't actually include in this video. And uh, also the CSI control surface integrator that I mentioned earlier, that'd be another good one to do. So let me know what you think and I'll check you out later. Deuce.